I want to I want to spend uh, a little time uh, on the Opster. I haven't talked about the Opster in a little while, but he did indeed tweet um, a couple of tweets that are pretty funny. Not in a way where you know they're supposed to be funny; they're just really funny. Uh, you could pop one up there. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Either one. Mm -mm. There's his first one. Uh, first, you gotta go down a little. That M and Dem. So that's Minnesota Democrat, right? I would think. And a mask up picture right next to the uh, thing. I thought it'd be like me and Dem. I think it's Minnesota no, it is, Democrat. Yeah. I'm just being stupid. It could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're oh, absolutely sorry. right. I, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wasn't that sad when ONA was canceled. Anthony's rants caused me to turn off a lot of shows the last couple of years. First of all, if you're a Democrat and you're mask up guy and stuff, and and you know most of your tweets are anti-Trump things. You just hate whatever I would say. It didn't. Most of my rants, by the way, because people have been posting a lot of them. I don't know why, but they've been posting some shit from a long time ago on the ONA show. And regardless of how pissed I was and ranting, I always knew it had to be funny. Like, like so I would. You also had an off switch that. Yeah, just, yeah. You turned it on like that and then would turn it on yourself. Turn it off. And say, yeah, I was very self-deprecating. And you would do uh, that. All right. And it was fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then that one guy I called him. We, we had a yelling match. It was posted the other day. Just screaming at each other. And he goes, another thing. I was. I just want to tell you I love you guys. And I'm like, I love you too. I think. <laughs> just got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, that's and what it I was mean. A, just a, we were beating this. I'm like, I, I'll fuck your mother. I'll fuck her in her fucking asshole, the cunt. I, oh, I didn't say cunt, and I didn't say fuck. It was on regular radio. The amazing thing was I was listening to it going, wow, I really was threading the fucking needle <laughs> with what I was saying. Because I was pretty much saying, I'll fuck your mother in the ass. You're a faggot. Right. You're this. On regular radio, it was a way of saying it where you knew exactly what I meant. Uh, and uh, but this, so yeah. this was back in terrestrial. Oh, yeah, it was uh, K Rock. I think Good for you, I think it was K Rock. That's not easy and, to do. Yeah, and I was really like fast and yelling and, but not cursing. It was really uh, quite astounding. And uh, so yeah, we used to do shit like that uh, all the time. But I always knew it had to be funny. In a way, somehow, you know, Jimmy would turn around and go, Jesus Christ, you're a mental patient. And, I'll, and then I turn to Jimmy and go, I know! And yell at him. <laughs> it was just always that way. So if you just took it seriously, like that guy, if he's some Democrat, that he won't, he wouldn't even understand that. He would take it at face value. Oh, Anthony's ranting again about this. Yeah, but it's all part of, in the context of a comedy show. But, uh, you know, the Opster. Uh, so there it was. Uh, uh, but I, I was sad when Opie left satellite radio. And look at how it's, first of all, I think this is Opie. It, it doesn't say when Opie got fired from satellite radio. Because Opie's constantly saying, I wasn't fired. He was fired. Sue me if you fucking, uh, for, for a defamation. If you, you don't think you were fired. In it was, he took a picture of... Uh, yeah, he took a video of, of fucking, um, what's his name, going to, the, going to the bathroom. The big guy. Yeah, yeah. Look how quickly I forget this, the little people. I, no, I feel Taking stupid, a shit. too. Roland. Yeah, Ro Roland. Roland Campos. Uh, took a, uh, a video of him taking a shit, and uh, he got fired for it. <laughs> he got fired. Yeah. He's like, I didn't get fired. It's like, God, you lie. So you pop that back up there. And he worked for Chuck Berry. He had been given a raise. Yes, yes. Take that joke from the, the 70s. Uh, Opie, uh, my opinion, radio, left talent radio, my opinion, radio legend, and my opinion of, and then whatever the fuck. I don't even care. By the way, he just goes out. And then Opie goes like, out of nowhere, by the way. The rest of the guy's posts had nothing to do with this. Rogan would be very easy to beat. I haven't ruled it out yet. <laughs> so, so with everything wow. Opie's done since he was fired from Sirius, 
he could at any time get on some platform, I don't know what, uh, and get a podcast and beat Rogan. You, Because you don't follow him? You didn't see the rest of that tweet. It did say... Um... You could destroy Joe Rogan at any point if you made if you made a podcast network. Oh. If they were talking about fighting. Oh, God. Yeah. Like, like Opie could... Start his own podcast network. Uh-huh. And destroy Rogan doing that. Um, uh, Opie is okay. a boring guy. He's a boring guy. And when he's interviewing someone... For whatever that is, I don't even think it's an interview. It's just this inane rambling that he does. Uh, it's not interesting. When it's him alone, it's really not. It's this off base, just fucking whatever he sees. Hey, bottle cap, you know, dude, a bottle cap and then a pen. I saw a pen. that's the opster. So to like to even say that he would beat Rogan. Why don't you start with fucking uh, start with a, 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 a start with a little bit of a lower profile show? <laughs> actually, start with actually doing a podcast on a regular schedule. It's like buying a camera and just like I'll beat the Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch me, fuck Kubrick. Watch like my movies I can make. I'm going. He just made up one hundred million dollars. Yeah, he yeah. He was very easy to beat. You should jump on that. I would do it in a second if I knew I could beat him. That way, uh, you would be offered $100 million. Yeah. But Opster, I, he don't care, man. I'm just doing what I like now, dude. I'm doing what I like. I don't have to prove anything anymore, dude. Oh, what he what likes like? is doing something that can't be judged. It can't be critiqued. It can't. Like, if, if someone goes, wow, that really sucked. Yeah. Sometimes they suck. Sometimes, you know, they're great. <laughs> But it's, you know, it's just my thing. It's a safety mechanism where what he does doesn't have to be held up to be critiqued, to be looked at and compared to other things that people could go, oh, I like that much better than this. And it's they're similar. Like, so he he doesn't dare start an actual podcast that people do because then people could say, you suck at that. When they say he sucks, that's what he does. He goes, yeah, dude, sometimes I just fucking, you know, whatever, dude, whatever. Because uh, he's petrified because he know he knows he's terrible at it. Do you ever just stop and look around at your life and just go, what the fuck, how did I get here? I know. Like, it's so crazy, though, for me. Because, like, I'm sitting next to you, who I used to listen to on radio, talking about a guy who I've never met who I used to listen to on radio. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Jimmy, after we've just covered riots and Donald Trump being president. Like, you ever just freeze and just look around and go, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? No, and I'm happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it's hard for me not to sit back and go, wow. How the hell did that happen? Crazy shit just happened. That's what I thought when I was doing radio with Opie. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I hope I make you laugh. Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> hope it's not the exact same. No. <laughs> no, not at all. So it's all right. The tweet said point because out gratitude. Opie is a devoted father. He would have started a podcast network that would have rivaled Rogan. So Joe, Joe isn't? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wait, Rogan's a devoted father. It goes out and hunts for his family. Hunts yeah, milk. That's true. The guy has like how many jobs with, you know, like MMA and all that shit. Yeah. Yet still has time to go out and hunt for his dinner. Hunt for his family <laughs> like a caveman. I love it. And there's Opie. No, nah, I just do what I do, you know? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Casual. I'm I'm happy though, finally. How many nine to five miserable. people have are dedicated fathers? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> uh then there's another one. Here was his uh his second one of the day. Uh was this just a regular yeah, this was a standalone? Uh, 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 oh, there it was. Opie and Jim was good for a while. But Opie and Carl, some of my favorite content the Opster ever did. Just easy to hear how much they clicked. Carl will be missed. Clicked. I wonder what Please. what made it good. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, and then Opie goes, Jimmy was a nightmare to do radio with. 
He's a very good comic when he's not toying with his cartoon voices. Honestly, he has no business co-hosting a radio show. Okay, Jimmy is not toying with cartoon voices. Jimmy is deliberately 100% aware that he can't do anything like that. (laughs) Why do you think Chip is such a fucking anomaly? Yeah. Because it's it's this fucking wonderful Daniel Day-Lewis type character (laughs) that's just pulling the rug over Opie hates it because he knows Chip is loosely based on him. Right. Like the unfunny guy hosting the show who has no concept of what's going on around him, totally self-centered, Right. not funny, thinks he's hilarious, like shit like that. And I know Opie's always taken that hard. Uh, He doesn't like that he's Chip. Uh, But as far as like, oh, toying with his cartoon voices, Opie would die. He would kill for a, an audience like Chip has. It, it's, it's, and then Jimmy does, you know, before COVID anyway, the stand up. You go out yeah. and do stand up and pack places. And, and yeah, he's had a morning show at Sirius Satellite Radio for years now. And half of that team's very good. <laughs> Not a fan? No, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've only met him at him once. The Sam Roberts? I know Sam. Sam is shit. No, I, it's a joke. I, 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 Sam and Bram Muffins. I think he's a funny dude. Yeah. Good. Uh, I think he's a good broadcaster. Ah, uh, yes. That's how I'll describe WWE Sam. WWE seems to uh, enjoy him, too. Good broadcaster. Uh, but it's like, why do you... Jimmy's the comedy, let's be honest. Jimmy's a funny guy. I'm just going to say. And as far as a pain in the ass to work with, like, I've worked and still work with Jimmy. And it's fucking awesome. He's great. He's so funny. He's friendly. He's a sweet guy. And, and and he likes everybody that worked with him. And everyone that worked with him likes him. And again, it boils down to this. Well, there's one common denominator here. It's Opie. Uh, no one likes him. And no one hangs out with him. <laughs> and, like, it, it gets some cred. But I think he's going nuts I don't. Really I would loser. never have posted that Rogan thing. No, the Rogan thing is just embarrassing. Yeah, I could be Rogan. I can't. I saw that earlier, and I again. I, I don't know the guy, but I just saw that. I'm like, you can't. Why is that worth it? Why would you say that? And then if he gets too much shit, he'd go like, "Ah, oh, I was just joking. It's a joke." Hey, what does a guy have to do to buy you a drink? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. I don't know. I, uh, I right, Vito, say hi to your wife. <laughs> what a great line. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, the Obster today. I can't wait till uh, who are these podcasts get a hold of that. Do him and Sam have the same, um, th- do they not like each other? Uh, Opie? Opie and Sam. Opie has never really unloaded on Sam. I don't think he likes him. That's for sure. Right. He's sitting in his fucking seat. Like, he right. doesn't, uh, I don't think he likes that. Because you saw the intern dynamic, but I don't know if they, yeah, yeah. they evolved from that. No, yeah. but they were off off mic friends. Uh, or at yeah. least their girls were. Their girls were. That was always a thing with the Opster. His girl yeah, would then be. And that ended quickly once. Sam took over. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, <laughs> that did end quickly. Yeah, I don't think uh, Opie appreciates Sam Roberts. Right, I'm just curious. Like it's all fascinating to me. You know, um, isn't it weird when you somebody, uh, you lose your job and, and then someone just sits there and does it instead of backing you up and maybe going to management and saying, hey, that can't happen, I'll yes. leave, you know. Did that happen to someone? Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine if right when I got fired, we just did this? Opie, Anthony, Jimmy, like this? Would be bigger than Rogan. Bigger than Rogan. <laughs> be, we'd be beating Rogan. It would be. It'd be huge. But dummy. I do feel if everybody said I'm not coming in, you might still be there if you want me to be brutally honest. <laughs> People always were like, we're not going to go on without you. Yeah, yeah. At I, least you know. lie. Yeah, I mean, that's... Go in there and give it your best shot. I, I feel that doing nothing didn't help you at all. No. <laughs> not to insult your your co-host there, but the uh, if you got fired by yourself from here, I would stand by you. 
Thank you. I would I would go to management. <laughs> <laughs> I would raise a big stink. I mean, look, I'm grateful it happened. Oh, sure. But I mean, I, I'm glad it happened because there's no fucking way that by now we wouldn't have oh, had a fucking I don't think, blowout already. I don't think it would be fun to listen to at yeah. all at this point. <laughs> but the fact that Opie thought like, "Oh, good, he's gone. Now I'll shine. Watch, watch me shine." And the first thing I said is, "Him and Jimmy will not last a week." Before they are at each other's fucking throats, and it was immediate, and th- and I knew they wouldn't even last like a year or whatever in doing a show. It would- that was a tense show. Oh yeah, very yeah. tense, and it wasn't because of Jimmy, honestly. No, no, was, the yeah. dynamic there, and and Opie just being the douchebag that he is, and you know, and then he gets the boot, and it's like, ah, oh, see, see how that fucking works. Anyway, his people- tweets are fucking stupid as fuck.